Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about some extreme brake dust removal because brake dust can be one of those really frustrating things in the auto detailing world that unless you're in the right situation, it's very difficult to get perfectly. And so I've created a sort of compilation of different wheels that I've detailed just over the past several months. So this is the first one here. And the reason why I want to open up with this one is because this is a unique situation where the wheels were taken off of the car and it gives you a whole new world of opportunity here because it's so much easier to address. Now what I did is I went in with this particular wheel cleaner and a, and a detailing brush and realized, okay, this is not going to get it. So I broke out my medium stiffness Wilson auto detailing round drill brushes that aren't yet available on Amazon, but they'll be available very, very soon. And you might be thinking, well, isn't this going to damage the wheel? And the reason why this is not damaging the wheel is because this particular wheel, the back of it here in the inner part is not made up of your traditional, just regular clear coat that you have on the outside of the paint. It's actually far, far more durable. So without getting too in the weeds on that, no, this is not going to damage it at all. But the great thing thing about the drill brush in this situation is that it is going to cut down on my time hugely, make my life so much easier, and the results speak for themselves here, guys. You can see the kind of results that this is bringing to this particular wheel. If I did not use an aggressive method like this, you might also be kind of tricked into thinking that this is just some permanent corrosive brake dust in this wheel. For those of you who don't know, the reason why brake dust can be so pesky sometimes, particularly with wheels and with cars that are not maintained on a regular basis, is because brake dust will eventually, over time, eat into the inner barrel of the wheel in particular, because this is where the most brake dust accrues over time. So if you cannot get this kind of access to a wheel that's actually taken off of the car, you probably will not be able to get something like this perfectly clean with just your Speedmaster brush or something like that. Now I'm just zooming in here to show you guys how dirty a job like this is and just to emphasize once again that when you're dealing with just your average detail for what the average person is wanting to pay for, this is going to be have to be a huge communication aspect with your customer explaining the difference between the brake dust that's on the inner part of the wheel here and the brake dust that sits on the face of the wheel because of course you're going to be able to clean up the face of the wheel very, very easily and probably really quickly, but to get something like this done with this level of brake dust, it's just going to take a whole new level of attention. Now you guys might be wondering what kind of cleaner am I using here and I am going to be hooking up my favorite wheel cleaners, acidic and non-acidic in the YouTube description box below and I'm also going to be hooking up my free guide to starting your auto detailing business for all under $500 so that you guys don't have to waste your time buying products and tools that don't work. You can just cut right to the chase and grab this guide in the YouTube description box below. But guys, I'm switching out a ton of my brushes here here to get in all of these different cracks and crevices and different wedged areas to make sure that I'm getting this wheel to 100%. Once again, not damaging anything. The reason why I really like the round drill brush in a situation like this is just because it's going to be able to basically address this entire face of the wheel without me having to switch to any other brush. So while I do switch just out of luxury because I have the option with other brushes, this one would absolutely be able to take care of everything on its own as well. Now another extreme measure that I've taken before, a video that I posted years ago to YouTube, was actually using my steamer to address a wheel that did not come off the car. It stayed attached to the car and I wanted to make sure that I got the face of the wheel really, really clean because on that particular face of that wheel, the brake dust was corroded much like it is on the inner barrel of this wheel. So I actually used Meguiar's wheel brightener, sprayed it all over the face and used my steamer basically at point blank range to blow off and heat up all of that brake dust that needed to be pulled off. And while I would not do that strategy in any sort of normal kind of detail, it was called for then simply because there was not another way to take care of it, even with a drill brush. We had to apply some serious steam heat and you might be wondering, well, wouldn't that damage the clear coat? Well, the clear coat was already so severely damaged that a lot of it was exposed metal and so there isn't going to be any further damage done. Now here I'm just taking my quick little white uh, soft stiffness drill brush to address the outside here. This can be taken care of just as easily with your regular 
detailing brush no problem whatsoever but there are times for extreme measures like this when you're dealing with extreme brake dust it is one of those things in the detailing world that without the right tools and products you will find yourself in a world of hurt now when I'm dealing with a super muddy tire like this one sometimes it's hard to tell what kind of brake dust you're dealing with because it's so covered in that mud and so again I kind of look at detailing like a funnel so of course I'm blowing it all off with my pressure washer here and rinsing it all off but I'm gonna take some degreaser here in my pressurized pump, pump sprayer and basically spray that on with the pressure washer to just start removing it more 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 and more now I'm going to be pulling out my smaller version of the Speedmaster brush here because the brake pad is just really close to the wheel, the inner barrel of the wheel. Once again, a reason why when you're dealing with brake dust, you're going to need a lot of different brushes just because every single car is different. And again, this is one of those situations where if you don't have the right tool, you literally won't be able to get the job done. There's not like a way to cut a corner in this particular case. So of course I am going to be hooking up all the brushes as well in the YouTube description box below. And Guys, I use the electric Sunjo pressure washer. It's just a regular 2000 PSI pressure washer. I've used it for over a year now. Very, very inexpensive and a great, great deal as far as if you are an auto detailer and you don't want to be carrying around gasoline and you just don't have a need for a gas pressure washer like I don't, this is a fantastic option. I like addressing a wheel like this simply because it is the most straightforward way I know how to address a wheel. I have my Speedmaster brush, I have my detailing brushes, and I have my product and electric pressure washer. And outside of that, rarely do I need anything else. While I was addressing an extreme situation in the beginning, it is very, very rare that I actually see situations like that. Now, for this very last wheel here on this Hyundai Santa Fe, which is a maintenance client of mine, I am using an iron remover mover. The reason why I'm using the Renegade Iron Remover is because I was taking certain, uh, or not precautions, but certain uh, preemptive strikes with this car, preemptive processes with this car, because I was going to be coating it right afterwards and taking care of the wheels in a very specific way. And an iron remover is a great way to deal with wheels before you're going to coat them in something, simply because in many ways you can kind of knock out two birds with one stone because this wheel was already so clean, there was no reason for me to have to clean it at any high degree before I introduced the iron remover. So guys, as with all things in the detailing world, a brake dust, extreme brake dust wheel situation has to be dealt with on a case by case. This is one of those high variability things in the detailing world, but it does pay to have the right tools and products. So Go down in the YouTube description box below if you guys want to see an organized list of everything I suggest for specific situations with wheels and brake dust. You can see all of those links below as well as my free guide to starting your auto detailing business for under $500. Go grab that guide below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you are new here to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, consider subscribing because I post videos like this all the time. Guys, keep working hard and I will see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah.